Hello Michael, um, this is a response to your request. I do apologise for missing it, I don't know how I manage that. I'm normally quite um, sharp on uh, comments on um, YouTube. Uh, um, yeah, don't know how I missed it. Uh, oh, uh, and in fact, I don't know how I missed it twice. So, um, not to worry, keep us uh, in future perhaps uh, just um, uh, slap a com comment up on um, Twitter as well because uh, I don't tend to miss those. Um, so in answer to your question, plain and simple, when you get a reversal, and I know we didn't have a valid reversal on this one, and that, that's a point I need to make as well, so I'm glad you've brought this up. This isn't the holy grail, it's just an additional um, box that you can tick. And I've noticed it once that, uh, you know, here we've got the low, high, high, low, high, high. And we would have wanted a break and close below that level there on this daily chart in order to consider um, shorting. But there are a couple of sort of caveats there. A candlestick trend is less powerful than a swing trend. And what we've got here is a swing trend in place. A high, a low, a lower high, and then a lower low. That candle there was the swing. So we've got, uh, instead of just a sort of a high and a low of a candle, we've got a swing trend in place. We've had the pullback there. And in this instance, um, then we had the continuation using the H4 and we could clearly see we'd swap from above zero to below zero on the uh, histo alert. And as you know, I'm liking this histo alert more and more and more. So, um, you know, experience of trends and so on and so forth has to come into play as well. So the other thing that is massively important is that the reversal is the most important part of the uh, the, the candlestick or the trend high low lower high lower low pullback continuation you've definitely got um, five swings in place here the fifth being the break of this low that's for swing four swing one swing two swing three swing four continuation swing five now it's a lot easier to see it on the uh, h4 chart but most importantly we've had the reversal that's the powerful bit these daily lows after we've broken that reversal low if you like is they are not as important they're not as powerful they don't hold as much power because they are part of a swing that you are trending against. I have mentioned this in videos before but I haven't really stressed the importance. So the point being this is the the trigger to go long. Let's have a look. Hopefully this one will work or be valid. There's the close and break long. And then up here is the target. These levels will need to be broken, of course, but they do not have to be broken and confirmed through, really, when you're uh, trading a, a swing. That's the change of the swing. Here's the swing. Swing one, swing two, swing three, and uh, then swing four, and we didn't get the swing five continuation. But we're not, you know, that's not the point I'm trying to make here. These candle highs are not as significant as this candle high because this is the last part of the, the trend. This is where the trend is broken and this is where the target for that trend is, somewhere in here. Support becomes resistance. Old areas of supply and demand. Okay, so the demand was here. This is the level they want to get to. That's why... I wasn't too worried about that. I'd let this tr trade run long and I'd put my move my stop to break even once I was into uh, profit. But that's something uh, we need to talk about later today. I don't always do it, rarely do it, because I'm a scalper. 
but uh, in this instance now we can look on the H4 and we can clearly see the trend I was talking about and how support becomes resistance here support acts as resistance this is swing one two three four this is the uh, what I call uh, well it's accumulation or distribution I think when it's in a downtrend it's a distribution and when it's in an uptrend it's uh, accumulation but this is the swing four that I talk about that really was the swan song if you like I've talked about when you think about getting in here and then they reverse it on you little buggers that's why I wanted to get in safely when it broke through there which I waited for uh, patiently for the H4 I could have taken this one because there we talked about this in the in the video you've got the um, bust and then break and break and bust but I wanted to be through that just to be safe and then we were into swing five with a vengeance and as you can see I mean I left another 50 or 60 pips on the table there safe target was here this is the start of the uptrend and uh, this is um, and and to be honest with you the targets were taken from the pivots in this instance because uh, let's put the FXI pivots back onto this chart I'm not sure whether they're on no they're not oh yes they are Oops, that makes a bit of a mess, but you can see S3 is down here. Let's put it on, uh, go on to H1. So H4, fantastic on the Histo alert. I did mention that in the previous video. There's the trade. We'd busted the daily pivot. We'd uh, busted S1. We'd used, uh, busted S2 when I entered and closed below it. And then S3 was the target. You can clearly see and that's why I've put pivots back onto my charts after years and years of uh, not having them because combined with the candlestick reversals they are massively powerful but going back to that daily chart hang on I've got to pause this a moment sorry about that I had a uh, delivery um, yeah back on this daily chart um, so just to reiterate what uh, I did obviously now you know I went for the um, S3 but uh, to answer your question once again Michael this the reversal and this is why this is the whole ethos with my thing and maybe I don't make enough of it a trend reversal is such a powerful thing that when it reverses they're quite rare as well of course but when they reverse and we get all the ducks in a row the histo alerts the candlestick analysis the breaks of support and resistance the trend then um, it beats everything else the trend is the beast in the room the trend reversal obviously is uh, that too and then these little soldiers here aren't as powerful as the ultimate area of supply and demand okay I can't really make it any more sort of um, basic than that because it isn't a basic um, uh, sort of uh, method or, or whatever it's just that's what I understand and look you can clearly see that four part that five swing trend here swing one uh, swing one rather swing two the pullback swing three then the uh, accumulation distribution phase swing four and I enter on swing five and uh, we could look at that on the line chart it's not quite uh, clear on the high low lower high lower low but we clearly can see old support acting as new resistance and uh, and then the price collapses to an area of supply and support however you want to call it but s3 
I did actually, um, I'm sure I mentioned it in part one, uh, the pivots they are becoming. We'd broken and closed below S2 and um, and uh, sorry I'm digressing a bit from your original point Michael so I do apologise. Um, <clears throat> there, there's the trade but uh, I hope you understand now that uh, those daily levels are like little soldiers in the way of the massive area of supply and demand that the price is on its way to. The reversal is the most important part the, um, uh, and the, um, the, that daily level you talked about was less important. Under normal circumstances when I'm scalping, yeah, I would have uh, just scalped that level and been happy with it. But I'd been watching this, uh, this particular trade for a long time and um, I could see what it was going to do. You know, I mean once you've watched these things for long enough you do get a feel for what's going on. So, And oh, the other thing to mention as well, ADR at that time was about, if I remember rightly, um, it was about 127 was the four day average daily range. When I entered it was at about um, 112 if I remember correctly, somewhere around that. I know it was less than the ADR um, and then when um, when the trade was closed I think it was about 170 or something. So um, you know the ADR does play a part and I don't mention that often enough either in um, my uh, videos. So uh, there you have it. I hope that clarifies things uh, and doesn't confuse you um, Michael. If you have any problems by all means uh, shout on Twitter again and I'll see if I can clarify it for you. Alright thanks for watching. Have a great day.